First thing we do is add air. Try to get our air pressure up to about 50 pounds here. Then we turn the tires on. Look for the rotation of the tires. You can see where we've got the pencil marks on there. We start going slow, get the cable feeding through. And as we get going, we add a little more air and we just continue to speed up the tires. Add a little more air and a little more tire. Once you get a nice speed going, you're watching your markers there, you can just pick your speed. We generally like to run anywhere from 200 to 350 to 400 feet a minute, depending on the job. If we need to stop for any reason and we don't want to have a backlash on our reel, all I have to do is engage the tires with the reel turning rack onto the edge of the reel and the brake tension we have preset on that front brake will stop the, the reel from backlashing. This piece here is what we call the auto luber. It's a pump with blowing lubricant in the barrel. And what we can do with this coupling I mentioned earlier, we can tie this quick coupler up here. And in here we've got some uh, pressure relief valve so our air doesn't come back into our lubricant. So we've got a one-way valve here. We get blowing fiber optic cable and we need a considerable amount of cable through the duct. We blew our 5,000 feet but we need another 10,000 by there. What happens is our duct gets dry. We need to add lube. The way we add lube without having to stop the whole operation and pouring in the tube, we can take this auto luber and all we have to do is pump this. Each pump will give us about a half a cup of lube inside of our duct. We can continue to blow the whole time and add lube as we go. What we've got here is an air block from Condux. This allows us to grip the outside of the duct rather than to go on the inside with an interduct adapter. The problems we run into with interduct adapters is when we're putting a large cable in a small duct and with the interduct adapter, we restrict the ability to get the air into the duct. So with this, we can actually leave the duct wide open, allowing for the larger cable to go through, basically the same system, same venturis, same everything with the other blower. With this one here, it seals up much better. When we place the inner duct in here, we can actually put it right up against there. It's got the rubber seals in here, sealing around there. And we have this piece here with the uh, grips on it for holding the cable into place. This is the same blower block you'll find on Condux's other fiber blowing device. Once we get that in there, we get this tightened down. With this unit here, we have a lot better air seal. And we've also got the adapters with this where we can go clear down to the microfibers and clear up to a two inch inner duct. On this side, you can see where we have the same coupler for the auto luber to be connected to this here. We can add lube as we go with this block just like we can the other one. Depending on your situation, we'll determine which one you need.